Integrating automation within the agriculture sector is taking place at an unprecedented rate all around the world. This is particularly true when it comes to milking cows. Larger and larger herd sizes are looking to robotic milking to solve labor issues and maximize their cows' well-being and productivity. At GIA, we have the technology and the know-how to help design a large-scale robotic milking facility around your management style and successfully automate your dairy into the future. Central to any barn design concept is the milking robot. GIA's Monobox is equipped with a state-of-the-art 3D time-of-flight camera, removable service module, and inliner everything technology, where stimulation, cleaning, force stripping, milking, and post-dipping occurs inside the teat cup liner in one attachment. The Monobox leads the way when it comes to milking robotically, showcasing some of the industry's most advanced features. However, it is important to keep in mind that your milking routine isn't the only thing that will change on your farm when transitioning to robotics. Herd management considerations for things like health checks, breeding, treating animals, and training new cows on the robot should be well thought out. At GIA, we have two different approaches to address the management needs associated with box-style robotic milking. The all-in approach incorporates intelligent sorting to create zones in the barn to complete all management tasks under one roof. The wet barn approach incorporates a secondary, oftentimes existing, conventional parlor to support the robot barn where certain time-sensitive and time-consuming tasks can take place in a traditional manner, keeping the robots running at maximum efficiency for healthy lactating cows. Which approach is best for your dairy? Let's take a look at the full lactation of the cow and your management activities surrounding her calving, robot training, breeding, herd health checks, and dry off in both scenarios. First, the all-in approach. This barn philosophy gives you the ability to perform all herd management tasks within the robot facility and is more accommodating for retrofits so that you can utilize existing housing. Let's start by taking a look at how a fresh heifer moves through the all-in barn. Depending on your setup, she may calve in the robot barn or in a separate dry cow facility, but regardless, her first milking will occur in the robot. Training lanes are critical to the robot training process, and GIA recommends their use to guide new cows into the monobox and help keep them calm. While this may seem like a minor consideration, remember, if you milk 1,000 cows a year with a 28% cull rate, you will need 280 replacement animals per year. With an average of six training milkings per animal, you will have 1,680 trainings a year in the robot. In addition, the monobox itself is designed to optimize the training period. With indexable stall sizing for proper cow positioning and a convenient manual attachment option that is safe for the operator, the monobox is the industry leader in training new animals. Cow management in the all-in approach is designed to help you work smarter. With GIA's intelligent sorting systems and Cow Scout animal monitoring, cows are automatically sorted into management zones based on their individual data. A sorting zone is recommended for training animals and sick cows when using the all-in approach. This zone lets cows access the robot so they can continue to be milked while avoiding pressure from the rest of the milking herd. A separate post-milking sort for cows in heat is also preferred. This pen doesn't require access back to the robots in order to help prevent injuries. Cows can be bred during chore time and put back into their regular group. With GIA's intelligent barn design systems, feeding, bedding, herd health, and foot bath runs can be achieved in one streamlined set of chores. Cows are fed and held in the feeding zone while bedding occurs in the empty resting zone. Vet checks and herd health tasks can be completed in the feeding zone at this time. GIA recommends the use of headlocks for all cow interactions. Herd health and vaccinations are done most efficiently with headlocks and have less impact on the cow's daily schedule than excessively sorting. Once herd checks are complete, cows are released and directed back through the foot bath to the resting zone. The row of stalls in the feeding zone can now be cleaned and bedded. This chore routine is typically performed two to three times per day. With the all-in approach, cows are sorted into the training pen at their last milking and dried off in the monobox. 
the safe and ergonomically friendly operator pit is ideal for dry treatment with easy access to the udder. Employees are not put at an added risk of injury, which can happen when trying to dry treat in the stalls or headlocks. Now, let's take a look at Gia's wet barn approach. Again, we'll follow a fresh heifer's path through this system. Here, the cow starts out in the support barn, where all dry cow management and calving takes place. After calving, the first milkings are done in the conventional support parlor, where colostrum is collected in a central area. The cow's health and rumination values are monitored for four to seven days to clear her of ketosis or other health issues. Then, she moves to the robotic milking wet barn. Once she enters the robot barn, training in the monobox begins. Robot training should occur three times a day until the cow visits the robot on her own at an acceptable frequency. As with the all-in approach, training lanes are ideal for this process, and the monobox has a distinct advantage with its indexing stall and safe and convenient manual attach process. Cow management in the wet barn approach is also made easier thanks to Gia's intelligent sorting systems and cow scout activity monitoring. For example, based on activity, cows are automatically sorted into a breeding zone and bred during regular chore routines. Activity monitoring technology helps to eliminate OVSYNC programs while still maintaining efficient pregnancy rates. In addition, cows can also be sorted for hoof trimming, vaccinations, and other activities. GIA recommends that headlocks are used in all cow-side interactions outside of the robot for safety and efficiency. Plus, when these tasks are coordinated with feeding, the impact on the animal is minimal. In the event a cow becomes ill, she will return to the hospital area in the support barn for treatment. She will also ultimately return to the support barn for her last milking before dry off and for dry cow treatment. With the aid of the support barn, farms using the wet barn approach don't necessarily need to cull non-conforming cows, when in fact, they can have a viable lactation within the support facility. This is a key advantage of the wet barn to consider. Regardless of which approach you choose, Gia's world-leading process engineering technology has developed sophisticated milk handling packages for large robot dairies. Gia's dual-line milk transfer system provides the highest level of milk quality and allows for flexibility in the robot pen CIP scheduling. Chore routines can follow the cleaning schedule to increase labor efficiency and decrease the need for large amounts of on-demand hot water. The dual-line milk transfer system allows for future expansion into existing milk house facilities and gives you the option to add additional milk tanks or direct load ports with ease. Are you ready to go all in? Or perhaps the wet barn approach fits your operation setup. Whichever you choose, robotic milking with the Gia Mono Box brings key advantages to efficient herd management on today's growing herd sizes. Our comprehensive approach to milking, hygiene, cow care, barn design, manure handling, and milk transfer sets Gia apart from any other manufacturer. And by your side is your Gia dealer, equipped with the latest dairy technology, products, knowledge, and support to help you efficiently produce the highest quality milk possible for years to come. Gia, automating your dairy into the future.